बिस्मिल्लाम अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ प्लांट सोन इन दिस चैनल यू कैन ईजिली फाइंड एवरी इंफॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू द प्लांट्स एंड देयर डाइवर्सिटी थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड आई रियली नीड योर सपोर्ट एंड अप्रिसिएशन आई नीड योर सपोर्ट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ योर फीडबैक्स और कमेंट्स योर लाइक्स एंड योर सब्सक्रिप्शन I am trying my best to make this channel much informative and useful for the students. Today's topic of my video is about introduction and classification system of Armentectogen, the one of the famous botanists in the history. I hope that you will enjoy this video. So let's start the video. First of all, I will discuss about the introduction to Armentectogen. Introduction to Armentectogen. Armen Leonovich Tectogen or Tectogen, pronounced as Tectogen, born on the 10th of June in 1910 and died on the 13th of November. 2009 so he was a soviet armenian botanist so one of the most important figures in the 20th century plant evolution and systematics and biogeography his other interests included morphology of flowering plants paleobotany and the flora of the caucasus He was one of the most influential taxonomists of the latter 20th century. He was born on the 10th of June in 1910 in Shosha, Russian Empire and died on the 13th of November in 2009 aged 99 Saint Petersburg, Russia. Citizenship USSR Alma Mater Yerevan State University and he was known for the tectogen system of flowering plant classification Spouse Alice scientific career includes the fields like botany institutions are Yerevan State University and Leningrad University author abbreviation for botany is Tacht Almen tectogen so these are the signature of the almen tectogen as shown in the figure Almen tectogen so this is the Shusha or Shushi is a city in the Azerbaijan in the disputed region of the Nagorno-Karabakh as shown in the figure Armen tectogen so this is the St Petersburg which is formerly known as the Petrograd 1914 to 1924 and later Leningrad 1924 to 1991 is the second largest city in the Russia. So this is the Yerevan State University also simply University of the Yerevan is the oldest continuously operating public university in Armenia as shown in the figure. So this is the St Petersburg State University which is also known as the St Petersburg University SPBU is a public research university which is based in St Petersburg Russia as shown in the figure So this is the tectogen on a 2021 stamp of the Artsakh as shown in the figure Next time going to discuss about his life. 
First, I'm going to discuss about his family. So, Tektajan was born in Shoshi, Russian Empire, present-day disputed as Nagorno-Karabakh on the 10th of June 1910 to a family of Armenian intellectuals. His grandfather, Meliksin Tektarzian Petrovich had been born in the Trabzon Ottoman Empire and was educated in Italy on the island of the San Lazaro, Digli, Armeni, and Armenian enclave, spoke many languages and worked as a journalist. He died in Paris in 1930. His father, Leon Malikzinovich Tektarzian, born on the 1884 and died on the 1950, was born into the Batumi, Georgia, and was educated as an agronomist at the Leipzig University. Graduating in 1906, he worked on farms in France, Switzerland, and the United Kingdom and made a special study of the sheep farming. He became a proficient in German, French, English, Russian, Georgian, and Azerbaijani. Arriving in Sushi in 1908, then a center of the sheep farming in the Caucasus. Looking for work, Leon was forced to teach the German at the local real Shuli, attached to the Armenian seminary. Due to lack of the opportunities in his chosen field, there he met and married to the Jersilia Sergivna Gazerbekian in 1887 to a 1974. Amin Tektajan's mother, a native of the Sosha, in 1909. Amin Tektajan's father left and the grandfather right approximately in 1900 as shown in the figure. So next I am going to discuss about his early life and the education. The Tektajans had three children. Amin born in 1910 to 2009 and the next is the Nali born in 1914 and dead in 1994. And the third is Nora, born in 1918 and dead in 1965. In 1918, the family were forced to flee to northern Armenia because of the pogroms. Throughout his childhood, the Amun showed a keen interest in natural history, traveling with his father. Amun attended school in the Tbilisi in nearby Georgia. Initially a unified labor school number 42. There he came under the influence of one of his famous teachers, Alexander Konstantinovich Makaev Makashvili. Time period was 1896 to 1962, who had previously taught agriculture at the Tbilisi State University and had produced a dictionary of botanical names in the Georgian, Russian and Latin. So Makai would take the Arman on botanical X Excretions, excretions, teaching him to identify the plants from the Cisnowski and Grossheims, determinants of the plant life in the vicinity of Tbilisi, 
1920. In 1928, he completed the secondary school and traveled to the Leningrad. There he would volunteer at the biology school at the Leningrad University and attended the lectures by the Vladimir, Vladimir, Leon, Leon Tiovich, Komaro. Time period was 1869-1945 on plant morphology. In 1929, he began his studies in biology at the Yerevan State University in Yerevan. Armenia, which he completed in 1931. Then he returned to the Tbilisi, enrolling in the All Union Institute of Subtropical Crops. In 1932, after completing his course at the Tbilisi, he worked for a while as a laboratory assistant at the Sukumi, Georgia, at the subtropical branch of the All Union Institute of Applied Botany and New Crops, now the Institute of Plant Industry, before returning to the Yerevan. In Yerevan, he took a position as researcher at the Natural History Museum of Armenia and then at the herbarium of the Armenian branch of the Institute of Biology, Soviet Academy of Sciences, and began teaching at Yerevan University in 1936. While completing his master's thesis, he died in the St. Petersburg on 13th of November 2009 at the age of the 99 in 2009 having just completed his most important work flowering plants so next i'm going to discuss about his work from 1938 to 1948 he headed a department at the yerevan state university and in 1944 to 1948 he was the director of the Botanical Institute of Academy of Sciences of the Armenian SSR and professor of the Leningrad State University. Tektajan was a member of the Russian Academy of Sciences as well as a foreign associate of the U.S. National Academy of Sciences since 1971. He was also the Academician of the Academy of Sciences of the Armenian SSR, the President of the Soviet All Union Botanical Society in 1973 and the International Association for Plant Taxonomy in 1975, member of the Finnish Academy of Sciences and literature in 1971 and the German Academy of Naturalists Leopoldina in 1972 and the other scientific societies. He was a member of the Norwegian Academy of Science and the Letters from 1980 while at the Komarov Botanical Institute in the Leningrad. In 1940, Tektajan developed his classification scheme of the flowering plants, which emphasized phylogenetic relationships between plants. His system did not become known to botanists the West until after 1950, and in the late 1950s, he began a correspondence and collaboration with the prominent American botanist named Arthur Cronquist, whose plant classification scheme was heavily influenced by his collaboration with the Tectogen and the other botanists at the Comoro. He is chiefly famous as the author of works on the origins of flowering plants and paleobotany, developing a new classification system of higher plants.
He worked on the flora of Armenia, volume 1 to 6, in 1954 to 1973, and the fossil flowering plants of the USSR. Volume 1 was published in 1974 in books. So Tectogen also developed the system of floristic regions. Tectogen, Crovello and Cronquist in 1986. For many years restrictions were placed on his work because of his opposition to the official line on genetics prompted by the Lysenko. In 1993, he worked for a while at the New York Botanical Garden. So next time I'm going to discuss about the Tectogen system. The Tectogen system of flowering plant classification treats all flowering plants as a division or phylum, which is Magnoliophyta with two classes Magnoliopsida, which includes dicots and Liliopsida, which includes monocots. So these two classes are subdivided into subclasses and then superorders, then orders and families. The Tectogen system is similar to the Cronquist system, but with some what greater complexity at the higher levels. He favors the smaller orders and families to allow the character and evolutionary relationships to be more easily grasped. The tectogen classification remains influential. It is used, for example, by the Montreal Botanical Garden. So next time I'm going to discuss about the selected publications selected publications. In 1948, Morphological Evolution of Angiosperms, translated from the Russian to German by the Warner, Hopner as Dia Evolution, De Evolution Dia Angiospermy in 1959. Fisher, Gina, Cronquist Order, Tectogen, Armin, Zimmerman, Walter, April 1966, on the higher taxa of Embryo Bionta, PDF Texan, 15.4, And the next is 1969. Flowering Plants Origin and Dispersal, Oliver and Boyd, Edinburgh, translated from Russian by the C. Jeffrey. And the next is 2009 Flowering Plants, Springer, New York. Next, I am going to discuss about the legacy. So, Tectogen has been considered the one of the leading botanists of his time and he has been honored in the naming of several plant genera. In 1980, botanist Vendika Arvendovna Avitician published the Tectogenilla, which is a genus of flowering plant from the Transcocacia or Transcocacia belonging to the family of Brassicaceae or Brassicaceae and it was named in his honor. Then in 1990 the Nesrova Nesrova published the Tectogenianta, published from the Dandelion tribe within the Dazi family. And lastly, in 1997, the Tectogenia from the family of the Winteraceae, which was found into the Madagascar, was published. So next I am going to discuss about the standard author abbreviation. 
the standard author abbreviation taht is used to indicate this person as the author when citing a botanical name so next time going to discuss about the tahtajan system a system of plant taxonomy the tahtajan system of plant classification was published by the almond tahtajan in several variants from the 1950s onwards it is usually compared to the cronquist system it admits the paraphyletic groups systems the first classification was published in russian in 1954 and came to the attention of the rest of the world after publication of an english translation in 1958 as origin of angiospermous plants further variants appeared in 1959 which is de evolution dia angiosperman and in 1966 which is systema i phylogenia sweat cover restini the later popularized tectogen system when it appeared in english in 1969 flowering plants origin and dispersal a further revision appeared in 1980 next is 1966 system magnoliophyta angiospermi page number 51 the class eggs magnolia t dicotyledons page number 51 and the next class is lily rt which includes monocotyledons and the page number is 461 so sub class a includes elismi elismidae page number 461 and the sub class b is Lilia D and the page number is 473 super order Lilia N page number 473 and the order Liliales page number 473 family is Liliaceae page number 474 and the family is Zentoriaceae Zentoriaceae page number 476 next family is Ephialanthaceae page number 476 family Aliaceae page number 477 and the next family is Agoaceae page number 478 family amaryllidaceae page number 480 family alistromeriaceae page number 481 family hemodoraceae page number 482 family hypoxidaceae page number 483 family veloziaceae page number 483 and the family Philaceaceae page number 484 family Tacophilaceae page number 484 next family is Cyanestraceae page number 485 and family Aspragaceae page number 486 family Smilacaceae page 487 family stemonaceae page 487 family dioscoriaceae page 488 family tecaceae page 489 family philidraceae page 491 and family pontideraceae page 490 and the order is bromeliales page 4 92 order iridales page 494 order zingiberales page 498 order orchidales page 
Super order. Jenkanai, page 510. Subclass C. Komi Lini Dai or Kom Lini D, page number 461. Subclass D. Arasi Dai, page 525. Next system is 1997 system as published in Diversity and Classification of Flowering Plants. So the division is Magnoliophyta, which includes two classes, 17 subclasses, 71 superorders, 232 orders, and 589 families. And the class is Magnoliopsida Bronk, 1843. Dicotyledons, 11 subclasses, 55 superorders, 175 orders, and 458 families. And the subclass is Magnolia Dye, Norwalk, X Tech. 1967 subclass Nymphae Dye or D J W Walker Extract 1997 subclass Nelum Boni Dye Duct 1997 subclass Estride Dye Duct 1967 subclass Lamia Dye, Tuft X Reveal, 1993, and Class Liliopsida, Batch, 1802, Monocotyledon, 6 subclasses, 16 superorders, 57 orders, and 131 families. So the subclass is Lilia Dye, Tuft, 1967, superorder, Lilia Nye. Lilia Nye, Duct, 1967 and 14 orders. Order, Malentiels, R. Dahlgren, X Reveal, 1992. Order, Colchiqueos, Dumont, 1829 and the order, Trillieels, Duct, 1996. So the order, Lady Alice, Parlip, 1826, and the family Lady Aci, Just, Norm Cohn, 1789, family Medial Aci, S. Ward, Duct, 1987, order Alistro Marius, Hutch, 1934, order Espragius, Bromhead, 1838 order Zentorius Duct Norm Inval 1997 order Hanguanius R. Dahlgren X Reveal 1992 Super Order Dial Nai Duct X Reveal and Didu Weld 1999 Subclass Comilini Dye, Duct, 1967. Subclass Aresi Dye, Duct, 1967. Subclass Alismati Dye, Duct, 1967. Subclass Triuridi Dye, Duct, X Reveal, 1992. Subclass Aridi, Duct, 1997. And the next is 2009 system as published in Flowering Plants. So the phylum Magnoliophyta, Flowering Plants, Cronquist, Tuck, and Zimmerman. X Reveal, 1996 class Magnoliopsida, Bronx, 1843, Dicotyledons, page number 7. So the class Liliopsida, Scope, 1760, Monocotyledons, page number 595. So the subclass one is Alice Metidae, page number 589. Subclass two is Lilia Dye, Tuck 1966, page number 629, 625. Super order Lilia Nye, Tuck 1966, and the order is Malentiels R. Dogren, X Reveal 1992. Order 
Trilli Trillios Tuft 1996 and the order Lilialis Parlub 1826 includes the family so the first family is Campini Matesiae. Family two is Colchicaceae. Family three is Tricertidaceae. Family four is Coleopaceae. Family five is Calochortaceae. Page number 634. Family Liliaceae. Just norm cones. 1789 and the page number is 634. Family Medio Laceae S. Wards Top 1987, page number 634. And the next order is Bermanials, order Alistromerials, Hutch 1934, order Smilekales, order Orchideals, and the order Aridales. Order Amaryllidales, Order Aspergales, and the super order is the Pandananae, and the super order next is Dioscorianae, Duct Nom Invo, 1997, super order Arachanae, and the subclass 3 is the Aracidae, page number 693, and the subclass 4 is Comulanidae, page number 699. So the next time going to discuss about the tectogen system of classification. So present day Armenian born botanist and systematist Armin Leonovich, tectogen. Time period was 1910 to 2009 was one of the most influential figures of 20th century in the field of plant evolution, systematics and biogeography. His other interests included morphology of flowering plants, paleobotany and the flora of the Caucasus region between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea. Good to know. The standard author abbreviation Tuft is used to indicate this person as the author when citing a botanical name. For example, Gymnospermium or Desanum. DC. Tuft. Despite great personal and professional risk, Tectogen was a strong opponent of the theories of the TD. Lysenko, who had the support of the Stalin and Khrushchev, Khrushchev, in banning all the teaching of genetics from the 1930s to the 1960s. So, with his wife Alice, he spent many happy and productive months as a guest researcher at the New York Botanical Garden with his great friend. Order Crown Christ. He wrote 20 books and more than 300 scientific papers, and many of which were groundbreaking. So he worked as a paleobotanist in Komarov Botanical Institute of the Leningrad, USSR, present day Russia, of Russian Academy of Sciences. While working in the institute, the Tektajan in 1942 developed a classification scheme of flowering plants that emphasized the phylogenetic relationships between the plants. The first attempt made the arrangement of the classification up to the orders of higher plants based on the structural types of gynosium and placentation. After 12 years, for example, in 1954, the actual system of classification was published in the origin of angiospermous plants in Russian language. It was translated into English in 1958 and thus came to the attention of the rest of the world. Further variants appeared in 1959, which includes the evolution, Dia angiosperman. Later on in 1966 or 64, he proposed a new system of classification in Russian language, which is Systema i Phylogenia. 
स्वेट को एक फ्रेस्टनी द सेम क्लासिफिकेशन वॉज पब्लिश इन फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट ऑरिजिन एंड डिस्पर्सल इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी नाइन इन इंग्लिश एंड लेटर ऑन इन नाइनटीन एटी फर्दर वीएन ऑफ हिस सिस्टम वॉज पब्लिश इन बुटानिकल रिव्यू टू ट्रेस द एवोल्यूशन ऑफ एन जी ओ स्पर्म ही वॉज पर्टिकुलरली इंस्पायर्ड बाई दी हेलियर्स attempt to develop a synthetic evolutionary classification of flowering plants based on the darwinian philosophy so i'm in tactigen this is the original cover of the book in 1966 which is named systema i phylogenia sweat coeur restini as shown in the figure so next time i'm going to discuss about the features of classification system of tactigen His system is based on the phylogenetic system of classification and this system has greatly influenced all the recent systems of classification and his system of classification is inspired by the Hans Hellyer's earlier theories the preliminary diagram of the phylogeny of the orders of angiosperms was published by him he subdivided the both monocots and dicots into the subclasses and this was his great achievement this is widely accepted as a major advancement in the angiosperm classification and this system is synthetic and integrated which is based on all the available data and this data includes the studies of cytology genetics comparative anatomy photochemistry embryology and molecular data He studied the floristic composition of different regions. His book contains the floristic division of the whole world. It also contains the list of endemic families and genera. So the endemic species of each region are also mentioned in it. He mentioned the various examples of the parallelism and the convergent evolution from the angiospermic families he used the available contemporary records and molecular data to organize these species into their respective families the hypothesis of tectogen was tested by the dna analysis by peter steven and found perfect although there is a similarity in the cronquist and the tectogen classification systems but the system of the former has complexities at the higher levels whereas the tectogen favors the smaller orders and families this system allows the evolutionary relationship to be more easily grasped so the next time going to discuss about the system of classification in this system of classification flowering plants are divided into two classes so first class is magnoliopsida which is also known as dicotyledons and includes the eight subclasses 126 orders 440 families almost 10500 genera and no less than 19000 One lakh and ninety-five thousand species. This class is divided into the following subclasses. So the first class is Magnoliopsida, which includes the subclasses. The first subclass is Asteridae, and the second subclass is Caryophyllidae. Second subclass is Dalenidae, and it includes the subclasses of Hamamelididae or Hamamelididae. and the next subclass is magnolidae the third subclass is rosidae or rosidae and the next class is liliopsida as known as the monocotyledons and it includes the four subclasses 31 orders 120 families more than 3000 genera and about 6000 about 65000 species and this class is divided into the following subclasses the first subclass is elismatidae second subclass is 
or residae. Third sub and the next subclass is Comilinidae. First subclass is Liliadae. And the second subclass is Zingibridae or Zingibridae. So this is the Devian Magnoliophyta angiospermi. So the class Magnoliopsida includes dicotyledons and it is divided into the subclasses. The first subclass is Magnolitae. Second subclass is the Ranunculidae. Third subclass is Hamamelididae. Fourth subclass is Carophyllidae. And the fifth subclass is Delaninidae and the sixth subclass is Rosidae, seventh subclass is Asteridae. On the other hand, the second class Liliopsida, which is also known as Monocotyledons, is divided into the subclasses. The first subclass is Alismatidae, second subclass is Liliadae, and the third subclass is Aracidae. So the next time I'm going to discuss about criteria of classification. Criteria of classification. So the first is woody plants are primitive compared to the herbaceous plants. Second is deciduous woody plants are evolved from evergreen plants. Third is parallel venation is most advanced. Fourth is most primitive leaf arrangement is alternate. Fifth is stomata with the subsidiary cells are primitive while those lacking the subsidiary cells are advanced. So this is the alternate leaf arrangement as shown in the figure. In the second figure you can see this is the uh, unilacunar node with the three leaf traces. And it includes the vascular slender, leaf gap, leaf trace, median, leaf trace, lateral, and this is cortex. And in the center, you can see this is pith. And the third figure, you can see this is the tree lacunar nod with the three leaf traces. It includes the vascular slender, leaf gap, leaf trace, median leaf trace lateral this is cortex and in the center you can see the pit in the fourth figure you can see the multilacunar node with many leaf traces so this is vascular slander these are leaf gaps this is leaf trace median and this is leaf trace lateral this is cortex and in the center you can see the pit as shown in the figure so the sixth is unilacunar nodes are derived from the trilacunar or pentalacunar nodes. And the seventh is xylem fibers evolved from the tracheids to the libriform fibers through the fiber tracheids. Eighth is cymose inflorescence is primitive while the racemos is derived. Ninth is Floors with an indefinite or a variable number of their floral parts are primitive. So this is the racemous inflorescence. Young floors and old floors are shown in racemous inflorescence. And this is the cymos inflorescence. And uh, old floors are shown on the cymos inflorescence. Tent is pollen grains. With their great design lacking an external sculpturing are primitive, while those having various types of sculptures are advanced. 11th, Apocarpus gynosium is the characteristic of the primitive taxa. 12th is, unitagmic ovules develop from the bitagmic ovules. 13th is, basic type of ovule is anatropous type, all others are drive ones. Fourteenth is basic and the most primitive type of female gametophyte is 8 nucleate polygonum type. Fifteenth is primitive condition is porogamy and the derived conditions are mesogamy and calazogamy. Sixteenth is most primitive and basic type of fruit is a many seeded 
follicle which develops from a multicarpullary apocarpus gynoecium. So this is the apocarpus gynoecium in the first figure and the second figure you can see the three corpus and one locule and uh, this is syncarpus in unilocular condition and uh, in the third figure you can see the anatropus ovule and it includes the chalaza and it also includes the integuments this is nucellus and this is micropyle this is embryo sac in the center and in the last you can see this is the funicle this is anatropus of you in the next figure you can see this is porogamy condition and porogamy includes the chalazo pole these are antipodals this is integuments this is polar nuclei and the egg apparatus includes the eggs and the next is synergids this is micropylar pole and this is pole in tube and this is embryo sac and the funiculus so this condition is called porogamy in the next figure you can see the mesogamy and in the third figure you can see this is the condition of the calizogamy as shown in the figure so next time i'm going to discuss about outline of the classification the classification as proposed by the tactogen treats the flowering plants as the devian phylum named the magnoliophyta with two classes magnoliopsida dicots and liliopsida monocots so these two classes are subdivided into subclasses then superorders orders and families and first i'm going to discuss about the devian then class then subclass and order so the devian is magnoliophyta and it includes angiosperms there are two classes first class is magnoliopsida which includes dicotyledons and the second class is liliopsida which includes the monocotyledons and the subclasses of the magnoliopsida are here so the first subclass is magnoliidae next is hamamelidae ranunculidae caryophyllidae delanidae rosidae and asteridae and magnoliidae includes the seven orders hamamelidae includes eight orders Ranunculidae includes three orders, and Caryophyllidae includes three orders, and Delaninidae includes twelve orders, Rosidae includes sixteen orders, and Asteridae includes the seven orders. On the other hand, the next class, Liliopsida or Monocotyledons, includes the subclasses which are Alismatidae, Liliidae, Aracidae. And last is Comilenidae. Alismatidae includes three orders. Liliidae includes three orders. Aracidae includes five orders, and Comilenidae includes six orders, as shown in this table. In the class Magnoliopsida, the most primitive orders Magnolias, Magnoliales. Most advanced order is Astrales. In the class Liliopsida, the most primitive order is Alismatales, and the most advanced order is Arales. The Tectogen system is similar to the classification scheme of Cronquist, but with somewhat greater complexity at the higher levels. So the Tectogen favored the smaller orders and families. to allow the character and evolutionary relationships to be more easily grasped the tectogen classification system remains influential it is used for example by the montreal botanical garden so these are the principles of the classification first i will discuss the character and the first character is primitive and then i will discuss the advanced character so the first character is growth habit woody habit in primitive 
it includes the woody habit in advanced it includes the herbaceous habit in primitive it includes the small woody angiosperm in advanced it shows the large trees of tropical rain forests in primitive it includes the sparingly branched trees in advanced it shows the trees with numerous slender branches in primitive it shows the evergreen plants in advanced condition it shows the deciduous woody plants so the next character is leaves and the primitive character is simple leaves advanced character is compound leaves primitive is reticulate venation advanced is parallel venation primitive is alternate leaves and advanced is opposite leaves and the next character is stomata primitive is mesogenous type and advanced is perigynous type primitive with the subsidiary cells and advanced lacking the subsidiary cells and the next character is the nodal structure primitive is tree to pentalacunar type and advanced is unilacunar type next character in inflorescence primitive is cymose and advanced is racemose next character is floral structure primitive is indefinite and variable number of floral parts arranged spirally on an elongated axis advanced is fixed number of floral parts arranged in cyclic pattern on a short axis next character is pollen grain so the primitive is exine devoid of external sculpturing advanced is sculpturing is of various types primitive is monocolpate dicots and advanced is tricolpate dicots so the next character is gynoecium primitive is apocarpus and advanced is syncarpus next character is ovules and the primitive is anatropous ovule advanced is other types primitive is the crassinucleate ovules and the advanced is the tenua nucleate ovules next character is the pollination primitive is entomophily and advanced is anemophily next character is gametophyte and fertilization so the primitive is monosporic polygonum type and advanced is tetrasporic type next character is seeds and the primitive is abundant endosperm with a minute and undifferentiated embryo and the advanced is endosperm is reduced or wanting and the embryo is large and well differentiated next character is fruits primitive is many seeded follicular fruit developed from the multicarpellary apocarpus gynoecia and the advanced is coenocarpous fruits next time going to discuss further details about the classification system of arm and tectogen so tectogen a leading russian plant taxonomist is an international authority on phytogeography origin and phylogeny of flowering plants he developed a preliminary phylogenetic diagram of the orders of the higher plants presented in 1942 in a proper on structural types of the gynoecium and placentation this system is based on phylogenetic principles was the first published in 1954 in russia language and translated in english in 1958 in the book of the origin of angiospermous plants later he traced the evolution of angiosperms and elaborate his system in d evolutender angiosperman 1959 and proposed a new system in systema 8 Phylogenia Magnolia phytorum 1966 Subsequently major revisions of his classification system were made in 1980 1987 and 1997 He classified angiosperms up to the family level He believed in the monophyletic origin of the angiosperms they were evolved from the seed ferns 
lysinome Tridophyta. He divided the division Magnoliophyta into two classes. Magnoliopsida that includes the dicots and the Liliopsida that includes monocots. He considered that Magnoliopsida are primitive and Liliopsida have been derived from the Magnoliales under the Magnoliopsida. The two classes are divided into two subclasses, superorders, orders and families and he accounted 13,000 genera, 10,000 in Magnoliopsida and 3,000 in Liliopsida and 2,50,000 species, 1,90,000 in Magnoliopsida and 60,000 in Liliopsida. The outline of classification proposed by the Tectogen is as under. So next I am going to discuss about the plant classification chart by the arm and Tectogen. So this is the plant classification chart. So the first class is Magnoliopsida, subclass is Magnolidae, superorder is Super order includes the Magnolia Nai and the next is Laura Nai and the next is Rafficia Nai and the next is Blanophora Nai. Subclass two is Nymphaeidae. Nymphaeidae includes the superorders and which includes the Nymphae Nymphae Nymphaeanae Nymphaeanae and Siroto Philianae. And the next subclass is 3 which is known as the Nelumbon Nelumbonidae. Nelumbonity includes the superorders and it includes the Nelumbonaceae. And the next subclass is 4 and which is known as Ranunculidae includes the superorder and it includes the Ranunculaceae. So the subclass 5 is Carophyllidae and it includes superorders and it includes the Carophila Nai and the next is the Garostimona Nai. It also includes the Polygona Nai and the next is Plumbagina Nai. Subclass 6 is Hamamilididae. It includes superorders and which includes the Tocodendra Nai. And the next is Myrotamna Nai. And the next is Hammer Mini Denai. Next is Barbian Nai. Next is Baxanai. Next is Fagonai. And the next is Kazuari Nanai. Kazuari Nanai. And the eighth is Jaglin Danai. And the subclass seven is Dalan Nai Dai. Dalinidae includes the superorder and it also includes D. Dalinianae, Tianae, Saracenae, Napentanae, Aricanae, Primulanae, Primulanae, and Volanae. And next it includes the Malvanae. And Utica Nai. And the next is Euphorbia Nai. Subclass 8 is Rosidae, which includes superorders, and it includes the Sexy Fragonae. And the next is Rosanae. It includes Rhizophora Nai, Mitanae, Fabonae, Rutanae, Gerania Nai. Corin Spermanae, Celestronae, and it also includes the Centalanae, 
Ramnanai and Vitanai. And the next subclass is Cornidae. It includes super orders and it also includes the Coronae, Aralianae, and Dipsaconae. Subclass 10 is Asteroidae. It includes super order and which includes the Campanulanae and Asterini. Asterini. And the subclass 11 is Lamiadae. It includes super order and it includes the Gentianae, Solananae, Olianae. And the next is Lamianae. Class 2 is Liliopsida, which includes the monocotyledons. And the subclass 1 is Lamiadae. It includes super order and it includes the Lilianae and Dioscorianae. And the subclass 2 is Comilinidae. It includes super order and it also includes the Bromilianae, Pontidarianae, and Zinji Baranae and Komi Linanae. Next is Heidi Telanae, Junkanae, and Ranae. Subclass 3 is Aracidae. It includes super orders and it also includes the Arachanae. Subclass 4 is Alismatidae and it includes super orders and it also includes the Alismatinae. Subclass 5 is Triuridae. Super order includes the Triuridae. Subclass 6 is Aridae. Super order includes the Aranae, Cyclanthanae. Pandananae. So the tectogen considered that the angiosperms arose under the environmental stress like the drought etc. Next I am going to discuss about the tectogen's principles for classification of plants. First is growth habit. The study of angiosperm revealed that their evolution began with small relative weakly branched woody forms. Large trees regarded to be originated from primitive small woody angiosperms. So woody plants are primitive than herbaceous and deciduous woody plants. Next character is leaves. So palmate venation is considered to be evolved from pinnate venation and parallel venation is advanced than the reticulate venation. Alternate leaf arrangements is more primitive. And the next is tomato. Stomata with the subsidiary cells are advanced and lacking the subsidiary cells. Next is nodal structure. The unilacunar nodal structure has been derived from the tree and pentalacunar types. And the fifth is woody anatomy. The evolution of the vessels is from vessels with the scleriform perforations to the vessels with the simple perforations. Next is inflorescence. So the cymos inflorescence is primitive. The simple cymos give the compound cymos and then evolve the racemos. Next is the floral structure. There is a gradual transition from the spiral to the cyclic arrangement and to the fixation of number of floral parts. And the next is the andricium. Andricium. The stamens of the earliest angiosperms were leaf-like pinnate to the microphyllus with marginal situated microsporangia. And the next is the pollen grains. The main trend of evolution of dicot pollen is from monocolpate to tricolpate and from tricolpate to triporate. And the next character is the gynoecium. Apocarpius with a large number of ovules is more primitive then syncarpious condition and the next character is the ovule ovule unitagmic ovules arose from bitagmic ovule thus unitagmic is primitive then bitagmic ovule 
so mesogamic and the chalexogamic chalexogamic have evolved from the progamic condition next character is the pollination anemophily arose from entomophily next is gametophyte the tetrasporic embryo sac is evolved from primitive monosporic next character is seeds primitive seeds were 5 to 10 mm long with the abundant endosperms minute undifferentiated embryo seed coat with the multiple integument is the basic primitive characters and the next character is the fruit so many seeded follicles develop from a multicarpellate apocarpus gynosia is the most primitive fruit type so the next time going to discuss about the principles which are adopted by the tactician in 1960 to classify the flowering plants principles adopted by the tactician so first i will discuss the primitive characters and then i will discuss the advanced characters so the first character is growth habit in primitive it shows the woody habit in advanced it shows the herbaceous habit in primitive it shows the uh, small woody angiosperms in advanced it shows the large trees of tropical rainforest in primitive it shows the sparingly branched trees in advanced it shows the trees with numerous slender branches in primitive it shows the evergreen plants in advanced it shows the deciduous woody plants next character is leaves in primitive it shows the simple leaves in advanced it shows the compound leaves in primitive it shows the reticulate venation in advanced it shows the parallel venation in primitive it shows the alternate ven alternate leaves arrangement and in advanced it shows opposite leaves arrangement next character is stomata so stomata is mesogenous type in primitive in advanced it shows the perigynous type in primitive it shows with subsidiary cells in advanced it lacks the subsidiary cells next character is nodal structure in primitive it shows tree to pentalacunar type in advanced it shows unilacunar type and the next character is inflorescence in primitive it shows the cymose inflorescence and advanced it shows the racemose inflorescence next character is floral structure in primitive it shows indefinite and variable number of floral parts which are arranged spirally on a elongated axis in advanced it shows the fixed number of floral parts which are arranged in cyclic pattern on a short axis next character is pollen grains in primitive it shows exine devoid of external sculpturing in advanced it shows the sculpturing is of various types in primitive it shows monocolpate dicots in advanced it shows the tree colpate dicots next character is gynoecium in primitive it shows the apocarpus gynoecium and advanced it shows the syncarpius gynoecium and the next character is the ovules in primitive it shows the anatropous type in advanced it shows other types in primitive it shows the crassinucellate ovules in advanced it shows the tenua nucellate ovules tenua nucellate ovules next character is pollination in primitive it shows entomophily in advanced it shows the anemophily so in primitive it shows gametophyte and fertilization as monosporic and polygonum type but in advanced condition it shows the gametophyte and fertilization as tetrasporic type so the next character is seeds in primitive it shows the abundant endosperm with a minute and undifferentiated embryo but in advanced condition it shows the endosperm is reduced or wanting the embryo is large and well differentiated and the next character is fruits so fruits in primitive it shows many seeded follicular fruit developed from multicarpellary apocarpus gynoecia 
In advance, it shows the Ceno-Carpus fruits. So this is Armin Tectogen. This is the portrait of Armin Tectogen as shown in the figure. Next, I am going to discuss the last topic, which is merits and demerits of Tectogen's classification. So first I will discuss the merits of the Tectogen's classification. The classification of Tectogen is more phylogenetic than that of earlier systems. Second, this classification is in a general agreement with the major contemporary systems of Cronquist, Dahlgren, Tron and others. And the third is nomenclature adopted in this system is in accordance with the ICBN even at the level of division. Fourth is the treatment of Magnolidae as a primitive group and the placement of dicotyledons before monocotyledons are in agreement with each with the other contemporary systems. So the fifth is the concept of primitive law in the classification is in accordance with the modern taxonomies. Sixth is the introduction of the rank of the superorder in the classification has provided an important link between the large subclass and the smaller order. Seventh, it is based on the phylogenetic relationship, so most of the groups are formed on the basis of the principles of the phylogeny. And eighth, the families are a small homogeneous units composed of closely related genera. Ninth, this system is better organized on the basis of evolutionary relations than old systems. Tenth, angiosperms are monophyletic according to this system and are originated from dicots. Eleventh, angiosperms are treated as one division. So next I am going to discuss about the demerits of the tectogen's classification. In this system, the more weightage is given to the cladistic information in comparison to phenetic information. Second, this system provides classification only up to the family level and thus it is not suitable for identification and adoption in Herbaria. Tectogen recognized the angiosperms as deviant, which actually deserve a class rank like that of the systems of Dahlgren in 1983 and Thron in 2003. And the next is numerous monotypic families have been created in 1997 due to the further splitting and increase in number of families to 592, 533 in 1987 resulting into a very narrow circumscription. And the next is Tectogen incorrectly class suggested that the smaller families are more natural. Sixth, although the families like the Ventraceae and the Cancellaceae showed 99 to 100% relationship by multi gene analysis, Tectogen placed these two families in two separate orders. Seventh, Although this system is poorly is phylogenetic, the system is phylogenetic, but still is not helpful for classification up to the family level. And the next is narrow criteria are used for defining the taxa in the system, and it causes unwanted splitting of the relative genera. Ninth, the main drawback of this system is that it sh it that it says. Monocot is derived from main and sister to the nymphiales. In this system, the monocots are placed after dicots, but modern and recent systems place the monocots between primitive angiosperms and eudicots or eudicots. If you like my video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon as well for further notifications and updates. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching and thanks for your time.